5 and 16 unchallenged in the East. They've got big leads for the best record in the conference, a big lead in the Atlantic Division race. And that little guy is the biggest reason why Allen Iverson, the NBA's leading scorer. But in Dikembe Mutombo, they have got a man that Larry Brown has just drooled about. The way he made that point, obviously. And he's still talking about it. On the backboards. Iverson up and in. He waits for Iverson. Goes baseline. Does Allen? High off the glass. Good. What a tough shot. Seconds. Allen Iverson has had to work hard for his money in the early going of this one. He's got six. Philadelphia is down a point. Controlled by George Lynch. Now Snow. Bounce ahead. Iverson. Look at the quicks. Up and in. And one. Well, the thing about Iverson, one of the many things about him is he has speed, but he can change. He can alter speeds and directions and then hang in the air. Brevin Knight, who is matching him step for step here, but watch the innovation of Iverson that he just goes around Knight, hangs in the air, and then lays it in. Atlanta. Oh, yeah. And quickly inside, Sanchez Snow got a piece of it. Out to Lorenzen at the shot clock buzzer. <laughs> will get my vote. If I had a vote, he'd get it. But I don't have a vote. <laughs> I'll vote for you, partner. Iverson outside. 13 first quarter points. No, it's not, Bob. And, and some teams are predicated upon a certain player getting, as Don Nelson used to call, volume shots. <laughs> and this team built that way. Iverson just puts them up and puts a lot of them in, and we'll go for the huge numbers. See what I mean? Off JT. And it belongs to Philadelphia. Well, here he is, pestering quick hands and slaps that. It goes off JT. Iverson. Oh, man. How do you guard that? I mean, it's just impossible. It, it is impossible. You cannot. You put pressure on him. And Jason, they're having a conversation now. Terry Glover and Henderson, which way you're gonna run him? Who's gonna give help? <laughs> That's how the question used to ask yeah. about Jordan a few years ago. <laughs> I'm running this way. Where else is my help? <laughs> but a from the free throw line, and the Sixers put 33 on the board to open the game and lead it by five. Over to Glover. Block. Allen Iverson returns. Well, shooting, improvising, creating ways to get it done in a variety of ways is the guy they call the answer. Allen Iverson. Lorenzen coughs it up. Iverson in on Glover. Off the Man. window again. Well, just runs down the Hawks' back and lays that one high off the glass. Iverson. Fourth two. 21. Tony lost the handle. Tipped out to Allen. Whoa. That's the improvisation that I'm talking about with the speed and the ability to change directions. Carved out a three point lead. 23 of the points belong to Allen Iverson. 55, 52 at the break. The Sixers that way here in the third quarter as well. Allen Iverson's first shot of the second half. Scoring machine. Yes, sir. JT. Matumbo not only blocks it, but takes it out of the air. Loose. Who's going to get it? Eric Snow. Iverson. Man. <laughs> Iverson will run by you like two cars passing in the night. You know, you would do. You would think Shoot. they just get sick of scoring all these. <laughs> Iverson, that's for three. Yeah. I don't know if the ball slipped in his hands or not, but it caused him to miss. Lay in Eric Snow. Pass from Iverson. Good help. But it winds up in his hand. As it always seems to. <laughs> he left, he got a magnet to it. 
Before Allen Iverson made a name for himself on the basketball court, he was some kind of great quarterback. A Bethel Bruin in Hampton, Virginia. Allen Iverson could throw the football, he could run it, and he was an outstanding defensive back as well. And Allen Iverson wanted to play football. He did not want to go the basketball route, but Mama said otherwise and pointed him in basketball's direction. And you know the rest of the story, but he was a tremendous prep quarterback. Allen Iverson's got 35 tonight, and the 40-point club. Kukoc makes a nice drive and dish. Feels he was fouled on that. May have a good argument. Jermaine Jones, Iverson, and a block by Chris Crawford. Well, that's the kind of punishment that Iverson takes, but steps right back up. Looks almost like one of those football hits you're talking about him as a football player. Gets buckled right there on that drive. Muhammad. By Jones and Iverson comes away with the ball. Allen. Out of bounds. Give a really? thumbprint. Right. <laughs> Van Jam runs for oh, all hours man. and is absolutely free. Excellent defense by Knight. Oh, and Iverson knocks it out of bounds. And Greets a Sixer <laughs> fan on Gucci Road. <laughs> Metalo may have been blocked partially by Hill. Tell you, Bob, these Sixers is, have an excellent defensive team. And then they just depend on that little guy right there to create all the offense. They have a nice relationship and a nice understanding of their roles. Season 15 times. And in the early days, when he'd score big, the Sixers would lose. Yeah. Good grief. Boy, what a third quarter for Philadelphia. They dominated at both ends. Put 30 points on the board. Kevin Ollie's shot stretches the Philadelphia lead to 15 at the end of three quarters. Iverson has 39 and counting. And the Sixers lead Atlanta 85-70. Tough luck. Now Iverson. Snow. Muhammad against Matumbo and Dink smothered that shot. Put the squeeze on Philly. The Here end. comes Iverson. He nearly lost it out of bounds. Jumper from the corner is good. <laughs> 107 <laughs> to 103. JT goes by him and tells him something like he's going to miss one, he's going to give me one. Iverson told him no. Defeat the Atlanta Hawks 108 to 103. And with it, push the Hawks losing streak to 10 games. But boy, the Hawks fought them hard right down to the end of the game tonight. This game was brought to you by your Atlanta Hawks. And the announcers for this telecast have been approved and are compensated by the Hawks. Join us Tuesday on Turner South at 730 when the Hawks host Vancouver. And our next telecast on WHOT will be March 19th as the Hawks host the Lakers. Now stay tuned to WHOT for Real TV. For Mike Glenn and the rest of our crew, this is Bob Rathman saying good night from the First Union Center in Philadelphia where the Sixers win 108 to 103.